Hi and welcome to tutorial 9. You are going to create your first PowerShell profile from scratch. Let's check out some information first. Help about profiles. In the long description here it says to customize your environment and to add session specific elements to every Windows PowerShell session that you start. And then it says a Windows PowerShell profile is a script. Okay, script. It means you have to start your PowerShell session in administrator mode. And to run a script, your execution policy cannot be restricted, which is the default in PowerShell. How you change it to remote signed, we did in our last tutorial, tutorial 8. And then it says customized environment, add commands, aliases, functions, variables, etc. Basically, in the beginning you will use it for unimportant stuff, mostly for the learning process and of course it will always be a school, uh, school assignment creating a profile. When you become good at PowerShell and maybe use PowerShell in your working environment, you will start using the PowerShell profile in a completely different way. But for now, let's create a profile and put something in it to see that it works. First, let's uh, find out if we have a profile. Dollar sign profile. Okay, this is where your profile is supposed to be. Now, let's test path dollar sign profile and it says false what it actually is telling you is that this is an empty string something is there but it's not complete we haven't learned to navigate through the folders yet and we haven't learned about aliases but uh, bear with me and use your own computer to follow along cd slash and we get back to the c here and uh, did that's an alias for uh, get child item and here we have users cd moves you through the folders users did and here we have uh, my name and you're gonna replace that with uh, your name cd Goethe did and here we have uh, documents CD documents and a did to find the contents and we see here that we have uh, no Windows PowerShell folder and we have no Microsoft dot PowerShell profile dot PS1 so we have to make that ourselves Close uh, PowerShell and open uh, Windows Explorer and go in on Documents. And here you want a new folder and we are going to call that for uh, Windows PowerShell. Open up a new notepad and you're not going to write anything in there yet but you're going to save it file save as and you want it inside the Windows PowerShell folder and you are going to call that for Microsoft dot PowerShell profile dot PS1 and um, put that in quotation marks and save and that should now be inside Windows PowerShell exit out of uh, Windows Explorer and uh, open up uh, PowerShell again in administrator mode now one thing here uh, yes you can see it says administrator at the top here but when it says system 32 you know you're in administrator mode if it says your name 
it's not. Right now we are going to use the PowerShell profile to change this a little bit and instead of having it point to system32 we are going to make it just point to C colon. So what we're going to do now is we are going to write notepad dollar sign profile and that is the profile that you made in the GUI. Here you can write set location which is a commandlet C column and then save this file save and you see here it says system 32 now we are going to close this and we are going to open it again in administrator mode and you can see it's pointing to C and not system 32 anymore which means it works good luck